ଗୋଟେ ଡାଟାବେସ୍ ମ୍ୟାନେଜମେଣ୍ଟ ସିଷ୍ଟମ ନ ହ୍ୟାଲୋ ୱି କ୍ୟାନ ହିୟର ୟୁ ସର ୱି କ୍ୟାନ କ୍ୟାରି ଅନ ଓକେ ଓକେ ସୋ ଇଣ୍ଟ୍ରୋଡକ୍ସନ ଟୁ ଡାଟାବେସ୍ ମ୍ୟାନେଜମେଣ୍ଟ ସିଷ୍ଟମ ସୋ ଏ ଡାଟାବେସ୍ ଇଜ ନଥିଙ୍ଗ ବଟ ୱାଟ ଏନ ଅର୍ଗାନାଇଜ୍ଡ କଲେକ୍ସନ ଅଫ ଇଣ୍ଟର ରିଲେଟେଡ ଡାଟା so when we deal with a large volume of data basically we need to organize all those data according to some phenomenon so that we can access data we can insert data we can delete data more conveniently and also efficiently that is the purpose of using database system okay so a large volume of data can be organized in a proper manner to allow different operations like insertion deletion searching okay quite efficiently in the system okay so that is the purpose and earlier to this database concept people are using the file concept file management system okay and that file management system has many more disadvantages okay because of which database was introduced and now in days the most popular system in the market okay so let us quickly summarize what are the different lacunas limitations okay that the file system has which is eradicated or removed by the database system okay now first disadvantage of file processing system is data redundancy and inconsistency okay so as we all of know data redundancy means duplication of data okay and the duplication of data basically uh, uses more memory and also time to access the data okay so if we allow repetition of data redundancy means what repetition of data so more memory is required as well as while accessing the data definitely confusion will arise okay so that means in a database approach we must avoid data redundancy as well as inconsistency inconsistency arises due to data redundancy why so because if multiple copies of the same data will be allowed then while updating data might be some repetition gets updated out of all repetitions so that leads to inconsistency in the database system like suppose number of seat uh, in a rajdhani express let's take 60 available is 60 if someone is booking a ticket then the number of seats should be reduced to 59 and it should be reflected everywhere then only consistency of the database will be maintained okay so if we allow repetition and some option may be uh, updated out of all then somewhere you will get some data and somewhere you will get some other data so that leads to inconsistency in the database okay another example we can say uh, like uh, uh, your account balance is suppose 20000 you are withdrawing 5 then what will happen if your balance is 15000 then your data is consistent okay database is consistent provided after the operation the data in the database is safe and consistent okay then we can say it is consistent otherwise it is inconsistent in nature and inconsistency may arise 
due to data redundancy okay <coughs> second option you just note down the key points okay later on i will send you uh, the uh, points okay that will be helpful to reading okay so first uh, first lac lacuna or limitation is data redundancy and inconsistency which is available in file processing system okay the second issue is difficulty in accessing data okay so if we are storing data using the file concept okay then accessing those data accessing those data will be difficult because uh, if you have already written some program on file system then you can agree with me that uh, in order to do some program using file three steps you have to follow the first step is you have to open the file then you have to read or write onto the file third step is close the file okay these three steps you have to follow for every operation that is important for every operation okay suppose uh, first time uh, you are writing onto a file so the steps will be first open the file then write onto the file then close it similarly later on if you want to read the content of a file again the same three steps you have to follow open the file read the content of the file again you close the file are you getting yes sir okay so if you are following these three steps for every operation then it is a tedious task okay so that is the limitation second limitation of file processing system difficulty in accessing data from the file okay so uh, unlike to file system in database approach we can access data okay by creating different queries with uh, different languages like structured query language okay you will formulate a query within a very fraction of time which will be sent to the database and you can retrieve the result very quickly unlike to file system okay so that is the second issue the third issue is integrity problem integrity problem means uh, combining all those data okay because in file processing approach there is no such provision to combine all those data okay so it violates the integrity property unlike to database system okay next is atomicity problem atomicity problem says that if your database if your database is consistent prior to operation then it has to be consistent after operation that is the property of atomicity okay suppose uh, your account balance is 10000 which is consistent and you are doing some money transfer operation of 5000 to somebody else account okay then after the successful operation if your account balance is 5000 and somebody else account balance is the total amount after adding 5000 then we can say it follows the atomicity property okay atomicity property means before operation if it is consistent then after operation it has to be consistent okay and there is no such provision in file processing system okay then next issue is concurrent access anomaly concurrent access anomaly means concurrent means what parallel okay suppose there is a database and different users are trying to access at the same time that is a demand we should allow different users to access the 
same data from the database and you, uh, you might have seen the reservation system okay uh, sitting from any location you can reserve the ticket at the same time also so that is a desired property so we must allow that property okay to users so in file processing system there is no such provision to allow concurrent access okay so that is one lacuna of file processing system concurrent access anomalies then another issue is security security uh, is better in database approach okay unless you are a authorized user you cannot interact with the database system you should have a valid uh, id and password unlike to file processing system okay so these are some key points of uh, database approach okay which is advantageous over file processing system and that, that makes the database concept more popular in the market okay it provides almost all facilities to the user okay then <clears throat> Next is, uh, see, what are the points we have discussed? These are what? Lacuna of file processing system as well as the benefits of database approach. Okay, why, why somebody will be convinced to use what? Database. So, these are the plus points. Okay. Then, next, we have uh, clearly the database architecture. Do you have your book? Hello? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, you you got your book, no? Yes, sir. Okay, you parallelly you can refer the book also. Um, there is a database architecture. Okay, the entire architecture of the database system was divided into three levels. Okay, um, three levels. architecture of the database system was divided into three levels okay one called view level logical level and physical level external level then logical level then your physical level at the external level different users are present okay at the external level different users are present what are the different users maybe your naive user naive user in the sense the users without any knowledge of database okay they are totally new to the system and there can be some application programmers having some idea regarding programming or application okay then there can be some sophisticated users okay means knowing information about the database concept they can formulate some query to interact with the database system and the fourth category is database administrator okay like <clears throat> we need a manager in almost all hotels or restaurants to see or to look out all activities going on within the hotel or restaurant similarly because we are going to use the database concept okay uh, to deal with a large volume of data so we need a administrator to govern the entire database system okay so the user can be database administrator who governs the entire database okay so four categories of users we have seen one is naive user without any knowledge okay or 
application programmers having some knowledge regarding application or program then next category sophisticated users knowing information about some database they can formulate the query and fourth category is database administrator basically okay to control the entire activity of the database system clear all these users are at the external level of the database system then comes your logical level logical level in the sense uh, we got some information about the database okay not in detail like suppose you are you want to move to bangalore okay to some city and you don't know where it is so what will be your first approach you will collect information okay then you will gather it that means uh, when you don't know you are at the external level user level you don't have any information but the moment you gather what all informations from the person or from somebody else then you are at the logical level logically you you got the information where the city is situated but you don't know exactly uh, where it is and what is the route or in what way you have to travel many more things are still in doubt okay so that is the logical level but you got information where it is okay okay sir and all these informations are logical in nature then after that the next level is physical level physical level defines what the physical characteristics of the entire database data in which memory location the data is available and which data structure is used to represent the data okay all detail information you will get at physical level that is equivalent to moving directly to the city you are looking for when you will reach there everything will be clear yes or no yes so that means you are in physical level okay so the entire database architecture is divided into three levels that is external level logical level and physical level level now, uh, now you tell me at which level you will get more abstraction out of all three levels which level achieves more abstraction logical level logical anybody else sir external external very good because in external we don't have any idea regarding the database system no so that achieves high degree of abstraction and when we gradually move from external to logical some informations are clear so that level achieves less abstraction as compared to external and when we reach at the physical level everything is clear there is no abstraction okay so that uh, levels are also called different levels of abstraction okay external level logical level and physical level got it or not yes sir any doubt no sir okay then you have different uh, components of the database management system so as i already told when there is a uh, uh, management we need a manager no when we deal with management uh, concept then we need what manager so now imagine the database contains all relevant data we are the users trying to access the database okay now 
in between the database and the user the database management system plays the important role okay to interconnect user with database clear so the middle part is called database management system okay and the database management system has different components like um, compiler and linker dml queries dtl interpreter dml compiler okay so database manager file manager these are different components of the database management system some noise is generated please mute when you have a doubt then you unmute and ask your question otherwise you mute it okay thank you so now at the top level external level we got different users at the logical level we got what the database management system with different components responsible for interacting the user with the database system okay. still noise is generated okay then at the physical level we have our own database system okay so <clears throat> different uh, uh, components has different responsibility within the database management system like suppose there is a query processor okay there is a query processor query processor does what the interpretation of online query submitted by the user in order to access the database system okay now even if the uh, volume of the database is high but soon after submitting the sql query you are able to see the output and the credit goes to what the technology okay so irrespective of volume of data you are getting the solution very quickly how it is possible because of the query optimization module or component of the database management system what it does it interprets the online query submitted by the user it will analyze interpret okay then from that information it will formulate alternate solutions okay you know for a given problem there can be thousands of solutions but out of thousands of solution we have to pick up the best solution according to what two resources one is uh, space and time okay so the demand is what less space less time or more space more time which one is demanded hello less less space more time you can afford more time what i am uh, what i am saying to the uh, what is the requirement we want within less less time, space less time yes very good less time as well as less space within that if somebody is executing then it is well and good okay so based on these two parameter best solution best plan will be chosen okay and that is the responsibility of the query optimization component of the dbms that will create alternate solutions for the database and it will pick up the best solution okay based on time and space factor and that best solution is sent to the database in order to retrieve the data because of this we are able to get what 
the solution very quickly. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Now, now you can imagine what is the responsibility of the query optimization module or component of the database system. Similarly, there is a DML compiler. Okay, DML compiler. DML stands for data manipulation language. Okay, so it will deal with data manipulation language. We have different languages uh, constituted under uh, structure query language. Okay, DDL data definition language, DML data manipulation language, then DCL data control language, DSL data storage language. Okay, different languages are uh, defined under structured query languages and each language has its own semantics and syntaxes. Okay. <coughs> Then there are other other approaches like file manager. Okay, the responsibility of file manager is to uh, give permission to uh, access the data, revoke permission. Okay, so security problems, everything will be managed by the manager of the database system. So that is file manager, and as I as I told administrator database administrator who governs the entire database okay then within the database which is at the physical level we have different options there you will find data dictionary okay data dictionary what is data dictionary can anybody say Hello. Okay, data dictionary, like we we use what book index to search a particular file page or not? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Similarly, because uh, database is a huge collection of data, so unless we follow a procedure to search a particular data uh, in a database, will be very time consuming okay so for that data dictionary is helpful so any uh, access to the database will be fast sent to the data dictionary to collect information about the data clear so data dictionary is nothing but what data about data what are the data stored in the database? Okay. And in which location the required data is available, we can collect from data dictionary so that searching will be faster. Understood what is data dictionary? Yes, sir. Okay. So this is the entire architecture of the database system. Uh, understood what is uh, external level, what is logical level and what is physical level clear all clear okay then your uh, sql uh, defines many more concepts okay so uh, maybe in the next class we'll see uh, that sql part okay the next part is uh, Relational database. What do you mean by relational database? Relational database uh, has different different databases are available. Okay, hierarchical database, network data, network based, or relational based. Okay, uh, out of all, the most popular one is relational database. Okay, and in relational database, the data or information are kept using tables. Okay, table means uh, collection of what rows and columns. So a single table is called a relation, and all 
columns are called attributes okay suppose yes, student, student is uh, student is a uh, table or relation with some attributes like roll number name branch semester okay so these are some attributes and the table name is student now each row in a table is called as a tuple t u p l e each row in a table is called as a tuple or a record okay student record employee record okay one one row is called a tuple or a record clear Yes. Then yes, sir. Uh, then to create the uh, table, we have different uh, syntaxes in SQL. Okay, you can create the table. You can insert data onto the table. You can update data. Okay, so all these uh, commands can be used to interact with the uh, table. Okay, now. all these tables uh, like one table you can create as many as number of tables okay and one more thing uh, very yes sir okay okay uh, network is the sound is not clear now 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 it is audible yes sir okay. yes sir yes sir now it is clear okay so uh, there are various databases okay uh, designed according to different models Uh, as i told uh, network model hierarchical model entity relationship model relational model okay these are various models based on which database can be constructed okay now out of all the very important one is uh, uh, er model and as well as relational model okay for both the models we need what the concept of keys okay so what do you mean by key key uh, is nothing but a, a, an attribute or collection of attributes through which we can uniquely identify a row in a table understood key can be a single attribute or collection of attributes through which we can uniquely refer a row in a table am i clear yes sir okay can you give example of key suppose in a student table which attribute can be the key attribute roll 
Yes, very good. Roll number will be the key attribute. Why why roll number? Because given this roll attribute number, uh, because the roll number is unique, okay, and not null. Roll number cannot be null. Okay, so roll number satisfies two property, one called uniqueness as well as not null. Okay, so roll number, given the roll number, we can uniquely refer a row in a table. Clear? And in some tables, uh, you will not be able to find a single attribute which can be declared as key. So at that time, you can combine two or three attributes to refer uniquely a row in a table. So that combination can also be treated as a key attribute. Okay. Now, some noise is generated. Please mute. Okay, thank you. Now, based on this uh, property, there are different types of keys used while designing the database. Okay. So, different keys are primary key, alternate key, composite key, candidate key, foreign key. Okay. So, these are different keys. Now, the most important key is primary key. The primary key defines what? Two properties. As I told, uniqueness and not null. Uniqueness and not null. So, like example, uh, already we have discussed roll number, registration number, account number. Okay. These are what? Primary keys. Which cannot be repeated or cannot be null. Okay. So, these are called primary keys. And what are the uh, next keys? Candidate key. Candidate keys also satisfies what? The concept of uh, uniqueness as well as not null. But like uh, in our election system, many more candidates are competing. But out of which one will be selected as the Prime Minister. Okay. Similarly, different out of all dif different candidate keys, one key will be chosen as the primary key. Okay. So that means the property of primary key should be satisfied by the candidate key. Otherwise, how uh, primary key will be selected among all candidate keys? Property should be satisfied by by both the category primary key as well as candidate key what are the properties uniqueness as well as not null okay primary key also satisfies mm -hmm. these two property candidate key also satisfies these two property the difference is there can be many candidate keys corresponding to a table out of which one will be chosen as the primary key within a table. Am I clear? Primary key. Yes, can, what is primary key and what is candidate key understood? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, <laughs> sorry. in a table, there can be many candidate keys. Okay. But, there will be only a single primary key. Clear? You cannot declare uh, two primary keys in a table. In a table, there can be only one primary key, but there can be many candidate keys. Okay? Now, next is alternate key. Alternate keys are the keys left 
uh, after choosing primary key from the list of candidate keys okay suppose five candidate keys you have out of which you have chosen one key as the primary key so the remaining candidate keys are alternate keys may be declared as primary key in the near future clear hello yes sir clear primary key alternate key and candidate key then uh, next is your next is your foreign key and this foreign key as the name suggest foreign uh, refers to establishing uh, relationship among the tables okay so when we are talking primary key it is related to a single table and a single table can have only one primary key okay now when we say foreign key usually we uh, refer to another table okay to establish relationship among the tables we use foreign key and it may so happen the primary key and foreign key may be present in a single table that is also possible okay so uh, the, there are some property of the foreign key like uh, foreign key uh, value will be filled off from the domain of the corresponding primary key okay so uh, let us uh, take a simple example so that everything will be clear uh, suppose uh, we have created two tables one is student details another is student mark clear and in student details suppose we have different attributes like roll number name branch okay address these are info table student info table now in student mark uh, we will keep what the uh, subject name then mark maybe theory mark maybe practical mark okay now to get the information roll number 10 has uh, secured how much mark what you have to do how can you trace the mark uh, given the roll number because roll number is not present in the student mark table how can you find the mark hello are you waiting now question yes sir how can you trace the mark of a student given the roll number because roll number is present in the student info table and the corresponding mark is available in the student mark table both are different tables how can you establish the relationship provided you must have to kept what a common column which is roll number in either of the table or not yes sir are you waiting so you have to add roll number column in the student mark table also so that so that you can compare the roll number from student details table to the student mark table and you can retrieve the corresponding mark possible or not yes sir okay so that is the approach that means you have to add roll number in the student mark table okay now that uh, roll number in the student mark table will be declared as the foreign key with respect to the roll number of the student details table 
क्लियर इन स्टूडेंट डिटेल्स टेबल रोल नंबर विल बी द प्राइमरी की एंड इन स्टूडेंट मार्क टेबल द रोल नंबर विल बी डिक्लेयर्ड एज द फॉरेन की ओके नाउ वंस यू डिफाइन प्राइमरी की एंड फॉरेन की इन आइदर ऑफ द टेबल व्हाट हैपेंस व्हेनेवर यू विल एंटर डाटा टू द स्टूडेंट मार्क टेबल इट विल वेरीफाई वेदर the entered roll number is existent in the student details table or not because uh, uh, you know unless a student registered okay for a course how the mark will be awarded to the student are you getting my point yes sir okay unless you registered for the course you will not be allowed to sit in the examination then how we will be awarded with the uh, mark okay so that is the uh, responsibility yes. of the foreign key once you declared foreign key with respect to the corresponding primary key it will check online when when you will enter data it will go on checking the foreign key value is available in the list of corresponding primary key or not okay if it is available then it will allow to enter the data otherwise it will discard it foreign key violated it will show the error similarly can we delete some data from the student table unless uh, we delete data from the student student mark table that is also required desired because uh, the data from the student mark table should be deleted first prior to student details because these two tables are linked when you declare foreign key both the tables are linked so unless you delete data from the child table you cannot delete data from the parent table okay that is another requirement okay can we allow uh, repetition of data in the parent table parent means student details student details mein repetition allowed hoga ki nahi no sir why so because the roll number is the primary key no yes sir it has to be unique ha it has to be unique as well as not null there cannot be a student without roll number that property also required or not so primary key will be declared in the student details table which one the roll number so it will check the uniqueness means no duplicates are allowed in the roll number field now come to the student mark table can we enter duplicate data in the roll number field that that roll number is a foreign key that is not a primary key so can that roll number take duplicate values no sir no suppose a student um, has failed and uh, again Uh, here c wants to appear so it may so happen for a single student there will be two different marks one is fail yes, mark one is pass mark possible or impossible possible sir possible yes. so that is the desired characteristics that means we should allow duplication in the foreign key attribute Are you getting my point? Yes, sir. So, foreign key can take duplicate values, unlike to primary key. Got the overall idea? What is key? What is primary key? What is uh, alternate key, candidate key, and foreign key? Or yes. any doubt? 
if you have any doubt on any key then you can ask because after knowing this then uh, uh, we will construct the entity relationship diagram these are very very important that you have to remember understood yes sir any doubt no sir okay now similarly uh, we can define uh, so in in relational model uh, usually the data were represented using table concept with uh, different key values okay so that is relational model your next model is entity relationship model okay so where uh, we represent uh, information or data uh, in a diagrammatic uh, format diagrammatically we represent our data okay so according to that uh, different entities will be defined and they are interlinked with different relationships okay like support suppose uh, teacher and student are the two entities okay teacher is an entity student is an entity now what is the relationship between student and teacher maybe teacher that means teachers binds what the two entities uh, student and teacher okay teacher teaches student so teachers is the relationship which uh, in establish relationship between teacher and student entities. okay so uh, we need entity as well as relationship okay now coming to the entity part uh, there can be two variety of entities one is strong entity another is weak entity okay so strong entities are the entities with its own primary key okay and weak entities are the entities without any primary key Are you getting my point? What is strong yes, entity? Sir. What is weak entity? Yes, sir. Strong, uh, strong entity having its own primary key. Weak entity are the entities without any without primary, any primary key. key. Can you give example of strong entity as well as weak entity? you give one example of strong entity having primary key hello hello so maybe student ah maybe not maybe sure student because student yes, having roll number is the attribute and that roll number is the primary key yes or no yes, yes sir so that much student is a strong entity similarly give one example of weak entity teacher how teacher teacher means uh, teacher is having its own id now and that teaching, id is unique teaching. or not teaching is the relationship that is not an entity i told na teacher teaches uh, student that means what teaches is the relationship suppose uh, we consider the loan okay 
so suppose the entity uh, uh, is loan one entity is loan and another entity suppose amount okay what will be the relationship between these two hello hello am i audible so taken loan taken ah uh, maybe taken or maybe sanctioned no amount of money taken yes sir Huh. So between these two, now what will be the primary key of the amount? Loan taken. Loan taken can be the repeated or not? The different users can take same loan or not? Then how it becomes the primary key? primary key means unique and not null okay so account that number in, that indicates account number account number uh, is the primary key of account entity that is separate okay now now see the loan is what a strong entity why because each loan will be sanctioned according to a loan id or loan number maybe loan number okay and that corresponds to some account number yes or no yes but sir the amount, huh, but the amount sanctioned totally depends on what the loan number yes or no yes sir uh, yes sir the loan okay. amount will be sanctioned according to the loan number that means the entity now depends on the loan number okay so weak entity are always dependent on the corresponding strong entity okay so weak entity are recognized through the corresponding strong entity strong entity okay and weak entity has no primary key clear yes sir what is yes, weak sir. entity and what is strong entity okay any yes, any sir. doubt any doubt whatever we have discussed today we have we have seen Uh, database. What is database? Then uh, different lacunas of file processing system. Then we have discussed architecture of the database system with different levels: external level, logical level, conceptual level, yes, sorry, physical level. Then uh, different levels of abstraction. We have discussed. Okay. Then we have. we have seen different uh, components of the database management system okay what is data dictionary what is uh, responsibility of file manager okay then we started what different data models entity okay. particularly uh, relational model then uh, entity relationship model okay yes sir so any doubt within this no sir no sir okay so we'll wind up in the next class we'll discuss the remaining portion yes yeah. sir thank thank you sir thank you sir thank you sir